through the roof. Um, we brought in Dr. Melinda Nish. She is the president of Southwestern College. Good morning. Good morning. You are preparing to go back to school, what, next week already? We are. School starts Monday, August 24th. How exciting for you. It is exciting. Let's talk about, you know, we talk a lot about here on this show, the student loan debt and how, how expensive it is to go to school for these young people and how important it is to obtain a college degree. So let's talk about perhaps the option of going to a community college first to get those basics out of the way. It's a great option. It's the best, best investment that there is in education. Only $46 a unit. And if that seems expensive, stop and think again. Many of our students qualify for Board of Governor fee waivers, so all fees are waived. We have financial aid options. We also have scholarships, book loan programs. We have a lot of different ways to help you address the financial cost of education. And with that low cost for, for your first two years, that really helps leverage your dollars when you complete a four-year degree. Absolutely. I mean, and when expenses when people when young people go to college, you know, like room and board and books and all of these things, the, these options that you're telling me are, are very helpful. Yes, they are. Yeah. We think we're one of the best ways to get you into that four-year degree. Absolutely. Speaking of four-year degrees, there are, we were talking last year about this, this new program to offer four-year mm -hmm. degrees through these two-year colleges. So let's talk about those options. If people are interested, what degrees could they obtain? Well, that pilot program is starting, but we also have another option right now at Southwestern with Point Loma Nazarene uh, University. Uh, many of our students are interested in nursing degrees, criminal justice, business management, child development, and in those four degree areas, you can start your degree at Southwestern, finish it with Point Loma, and do that at our Southwestern campus. That's amazing. Cohorts start this fall. And what are, what are the price points for that? I mean, are they equal to a two-year degree? price points or do they are they more a little more expensive because they're for tuition will be more for the upper division courses but we do have options including scholarships that's for great. that. that's great you know we were talking to just a second ago um, about campus security and you know we we saw this kind of rash of as assaults on campuses throughout the San Diego area last year but you were telling me about a very um, important uh, system that has been implemented now on your campus. At Southwestern we're really concerned about our student safety whether they're at our Chula Vista campus or in National City, Otay Mesa or San Ysidro at our higher ed centers and so one of the measures that we've already taken is to install a blue light emergency system throughout all of our district. These blue lights are located in the parking lots and in all of the areas, quad areas, by classrooms, etc. So if a student has an emergency of any kind, they can hit that blue light and immediately they'll have assistance from police at any time of the day. Well, it's certainly important. I'm sure it gives a lot of parents that are watching <laughs> to know their child is going to be safe on campus no matter what. All right, Dr. Melinda Nish, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, and back to, back school, to school next time. Monday. <laughs> All right.